at Nantes against Lyon. there also challenging and Giroud's first match back after his operation had a heart bypass operation and back on the bench it's great to see him he is an absolute marvel Giroud Auxerre having drawn 2-2 against Lorient in the week three draws in a row and their title challenge starting to fade but they do play lovely football forward by Jan Lachouet, Gibril Sissé, the new Thierry Henry everyone's talking about, but closed down by Bernard Lambord, the former Chelsea player, getting back. Corner then for Auxerre. Philippe Mexes, the other young player, the other French under-21 international they like to talk about. He and Cissé are pinpointed as the stars of the future. We should watch out for Olivier Capo, the other centre forward as well. Chance over Bastia. Tony Varel with a strike, but straight at Fabian Kult in the Ogsair goal. Varel, been around in France. Lately of Bordeaux is Cissé trying to nick it over Nicolas Penito, which he succeeded in doing, but without the pace. But look how strong Cissé is in just in that challenge. Robert Nuzere has just about turned Bassi around a little bit after a really poor start. And Oxet trying to get their first win of 2002 here. Deflected away without Penito really knowing where it was going. He's a future French international keeper, I'm sure of it. Cissé's drive picked away by Jean Chon. Then more pressure from the corner. Lachoué, the former Bastia player, before returning to Auxerre. And Tainho's strike. The Finnish international. What a good save by Penito. He saw that late through a crowd of players and did really well to spring to his left. And Lachoué getting the bird a little bit from the home fans. Brought down by Piosel. Says he got the ball, already been booked. Sebastian Piercel had to go here. And I think that's fair enough from Hervé Picarillo, the referee. Lashue saying he didn't dive, but when you see it again, this is the challenge from Piercel. He's nowhere near the ball. And he had to go. Marin making his first start for Oxair, another of the players from the Youth Academy who's being talked about. Little ball lobbed into Cissé, who's always in the right place at the right time. Something he hasn't learned just yet is to always make the right decision. There he is again. I mean, that was the right decision. It's fantastic from Gabriel Cissé. 12 goals so far this season. He's learning with every game, but he still admits that he isn't the finished article. Why should he be at uh, 20 years old? Not far off, though, is he? He'll be going to a big, big club soon, but he wants to carry on learning at Auxerre. No quick fix for him. For 12 goals a season, but that includes a month out injured. Now Lachoué starting things off, finding Cissé. Lachoué prompting from the midfield. 
Another really good stop by Penito, who's furious with his defenders. One thing you have to like about Penito, another who's in the under-21 side, but he doesn't mind castigating the old pros. And then Capo moving in field with real grace. Lashue, Capo, Cisse, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Lashue orchestrating it against his old club, but what a super goal this is. It's Ogzer all over. One side of the area is the other. Chris, first time passing. Cisse there to tap it in for his 13th goal of the season. Simple as that. And look at the role of Capo, his eighth assist of the season. Means that Capo is now just three behind Stefan Pedron in that assist table. Big win for Giru, big win for Oxair, their first of two. On then to Marseille against Sedan. Inconsistent Marseille and Sedan with their coach Henri Stambouli returning to the velodrome where he starred with Marseille as a player, his first time back on that pitch. Sedan have had a good run lately, three wins and three draws in their last six games has taken them out of the bottom two. Marseille still uh, not as far clear of those two sides as they would like to be. Good day though for them here. Opened up for Alfonso. On loan till the end of the season from Barcelona, where he's surplus to requirements. I bet he's glad to get away from there, given all the uh, problems they've had at the new Camp. Just two goals all season for Barca, three already in two games for Marseille. Perhaps a comment on the differing standards of the leagues, or perhaps a comment on how Alfonso has been given a new lease of life. Former Real Madrid and Real Betis player as well. It's a bad moment for Sedon here when Richard Jezierski was taken off with uh, an injury. He can ill afford to lose such an experienced defensive player. Andre Luis here with the free kick and the header coming in from Fernandao. Couldn't keep it on target. Incidentally, just going back to Alfonso's goal, scored in the sixth minute against Bastia, the fourth minute here. Likes to kill games off early on. There's more to come from him tonight. Neat little flick in field there, but a real blast over by uh, Andre Luis. to get back in it maybe hey Rillard with the free kick but easily stopped by Runya excellent as ever in the Marseille goal they needed a second to kill it off though Marseille and they wouldn't come excellent work from uh, Patrice Runya in the Sedon goal forward by Eddie Capron. Herrelard breaking. And Runya with the save. And again, Sedon coming very, very close to an equaliser. Flick from Laurent Herrelard. Forward by Elzea. Again, Herrelard with a chance. And you felt that if they could get a goal here, then Marseille could be in real trouble. Sacco replaced by Cyril Schaff with a new arrival from Rennes. Head of there was by Mdani, nearly making it two. And lucky not to as well. Now Dos Santos. Santos getting it back, influential left back. Two in the centre, ball played in, and Alfonso a little bit lucky with that. Miss hit it. Renio had already dived, and it just span away from his hand. 
Nice moment for the Spaniard. Three goals in two games. Unlucky for Reno, who'd been excellent. Crowd at the velodrome by this point were singing Viva de España. Andre Luis trying to make it Viva Brasilia. And Chapuis couldn't turn it in. Sidon, after such a good recent run, were worth more than this tonight, probably. Certainly worth more than a 2 0 defeat, and they got more than that at least. But it was always Marseille, Andre Luis, saved by Runyuk. Marseille not having uh, got a win since the 8th of December, came and attacked and just...